everyone, Denise Holt here, and I am your host for the Spatial Web AI Podcast Knowledge Bank. Today we are going to wrap up the series, The Spatial Web is Coming. Uh, this is part four, and we're going to discuss how Web 3.0 is about to take a giant leap and uh, what this means to you and how you can stay ahead of the curve. The future of Web 3.0 that we all envision, essentially the economy of everything, must be on a common network. Websites won't exist. Instead, there will be web worlds networked with nested entities of people, places, and things, both real and virtual. All of this will be searchable and accessible. Our daily lives will be augmented with shared data between these two realms, physical and digital. Anything that wants to be recognized will have to be included in this network. Versus Technologies is building the foundation technology to enable this network. In 1990, Sir Tim Berners-Lee combined the coding language HTML with an innovative new protocol, HTTP, to connect hyperlinked pages for the foundation of the World Wide Web, which became a global, accessible digital library of information. Today, Versus Technologies is establishing the next level spatial web protocols and standards, laying the spatial framework for what's coming next, a fully networked, searchable, and accessible spatial interface powered by Cosm AI. Their intention? to create an open and secure means of exchange between all people, objects, digital and physical spaces, content and assets across all locations, platforms, and devices. After nearly five years in development, the Versus team is well on their way. Web 3.0 is about to take a giant leap. Throughout 2021, VCs invested $33 billion in crypto and blockchain startups. Currently, 2022 is on pace to nearly double that. Cointelegraph research recently reported Web3 as the most sought-after investment sector of 2022, including cryptography, Web3, NFTs, wallets, metaverses, gaming, DeFi, media, communities, and DAOs. These technologies, along with humans, machines, content, data, assets, locations, buildings, factories, workflows, imagination, and the context of real-time interaction across every one of them. This is the Web 3.0 of the future. Every protocol, platform, interaction, messaging, data distribution, first layer, second layer, developer API, and language aspect of Web3 that is in development today needs to be thinking about this transition to the spatial web. As Dan Mapes of Versus and the Spatial Web Foundation points out in regard to today's Web 2.0, the internet is one network of 50 billion computers and 10 billion web pages. You're either on this or you're not. Just as critical as the searchability of websites, information, and content has been to the World Wide Web of these past 32 years, the same will be true of the spatial web. If you, as a company, project, individual, are not included in this new all-inclusive, new network of everything, you will be invisible in Web 3.0 and unknowable to the world. This is part four of a four-part series titled, The Spatial Web is Web 3.0 Ready. Did you miss the beginning? Go back and listen to part one now. Special thanks to Dan Mapes, president and co-founder of Versus Technologies and the director of the Spatial Web Foundation. If you'd like to know more about the Spatial Web, I highly recommend a helpful introductory book written by Dan and his Versus co-founder, Gabriel Rene titled The Spatial Web, with a dedication to all future generations.